Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Timmy from Pure Kicks and I'm back. I've missed you. I hope you guys have missed me too. Now you've already seen the thumbnail and you've already read the title. In this video, I'm going to be taking things off court and talking to you guys about the Air Jordan 1 Rebellion Air. Let's get it. Now I know what you're thinking. That's not a basketball performance shoe. And I hear that, but this is still a basketball performance channel, but I think once in a while I'd like to show you any off-court heat I can get my hands on. First things first, big shout out to the good people over at Foot Patrol for taking care of your boy and having me feature in their brand new Foot Patrol Meets campaign. You can check all of that out in the description box below, but comment as well, let me know how I look. I think I look pretty wonderful, but I'd like to hear what you guys think. Okay, okay, that's enough chit chat. Let's get into this shoe. Up first, the box. The two piece that we've grown to know and love with the removable lid, we love to see it. We've got the shadow gray logos all around the side. Glossy black text covers the entire sides and outsides of the box. And you've seen it, that wham red cross up top. Now stick with me. That's all gonna make a bit more sense once I get into the story behind the shoe. But overall, box is clean. It's really clean. It's still iconic as that two piece. It's just enough to give us extra details to show love to the colorway. But overall, I'm liking the box. A little something different, but not too much. You guys see the big size 13. You see it, you see it. Take notes, yeah? You need to send me something, US 13, UK 12. Take notes. Now, once you get rid of the lid, the details keep rolling. The first thing you're greeted with is a steal from the now iconic band advert from 1985 with the Air Jordan 1s on MJ's feet completely covered. Take that first layer off, the Jordan 1s are revealed. Now it don't feel or seem like much, but that type of detail takes a little bit of planning and a little bit more effort. I'm messing with it, 100%. And the main event itself, the moment you've all been waiting for, the Air Jordan 1 Rebellion Air. Now these are cold. Straight away the striking features of the shoe is that text that covers pretty much every single part of the upper as well as that red cross up back which we saw on the box. We saw the same text on the box as well which actually reads they can't stop you from wearing them which is a line taken from that iconic 1985 advert how the NBA banned Jordan from wearing the black and red colorway on court because league rules stated that the shoe had to be predominantly white but MJ wore them anyway and Nike picked up the fine every game that he did. Turned out to be the greatest marketing campaign of all time because now we're here and Jordan Brand is by far a billion dollar company. Now I don't know if you put two and two together and can hear it in the story, a man that was once an on-court rebel is now an off-court billionaire. Do you get it? Put them together, what do you get? No? I don't know if you did in it, if you didn't catch that one. <laughs> the sentence, they can't stop you from wearing them, can be seen on the grey parts in a smaller text and a larger text found on the black parts of the shoe. On the back, we can see the red cross we saw earlier on the top of the box, which is actually taken from the 2011 bread colorway, now known as Band. Now, with all this talk of black and red and bread this and Band that, I'm surprised they did it on a shadow colorway. So don't get me wrong, it is one of the OG colorways, including the bread itself, the Royals, the Chicago's, and of course the Shadows. My theory is, is that they already did a little something with the Air Jordan 1 bread in that new pattern colorway. Recently it had been announced that the Chicago colorway is coming back in the 85 shape. So we could see something with the Royals if they're gonna be messing with the Shadows for this. Might be another fine year for Jordan 1's. Might be. Just might be. Now out of the box, the quality feels good. I had them on feet for a little while as well as you saw in the pictures. And I liked what I was feeling. The leather isn't buttery as we've become to kind of want and somewhat need, I'm not gonna lie, but it's good. It seems like a pretty good quality leather which is being used. The black parts have already been kind of distressed so you kind of already got that nice motion to them, which kind of gives off a bit of a gray vibe. You may not be able to see it in the camera, but it gives off a bit more of a dark gray, more than a straight jet black. Now, just like its OG counterpart, these do come with a white pair of laces as well. I think I'm gonna leave them in the box. The black laces always bang for me, but you guys let me know in the comments which you think looks better, the black laces or the white laces. So right guys, that's everything about the Air Jordan 1 Rebellion Air. 
I'm excited to add these to my collection. If you know me, I'm about my Air Jordan 1s every single time. So big love to Foot Patrol for taking care of me on these. Much, much appreciated. Lastly, before I go, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It feels so good to be back. I've missed you guys. Performance reviews are on the way. Comment down below which performance review you'd like to see first. I can make that happen. So comment down below. One I see the most will be the first one back. I promise you that. So make sure you keep it locked. I appreciate the fact that you've kept it locked so far. I'm here and I'm gonna keep this thing rolling for you guys. So that's it from me. This is the Air Jordan 1 Rebellionaire. I'm Timmy from Pure Kicks. Let's get it.